All right, right now, CHP is still looking for the driver who hit a woman on her bicycle and then just took off with the bike mangled right there in the front grill of their SUV. This happened on State Route 67 this morning. Our tennis reporter Mackenzie Maynard is in Ramona where the search continues tonight. It was right here where that 53 year old woman was loaded into the helicopter and flown to Palomar Medical Center in Escondido. Thankfully, though, this landing area for the helicopter was just yards away from where that accident happened. It happened just after six in the morning. She was riding her bike along State Route 67 north of Dye Road. Right now, investigators don't know what caused the driver to cross the white line into the bike path. CHP tells us once the woman was hit, she was thrown from her bike and the driver of the black Ford Edge that hit her drove away with her bike lodged in the front grill of the SUV. It makes me think twice about riding. Hours later, cyclists were back in the same path. Cars flying by is nothing unusual for bikers who've been riding for quite a while. 40 years. Kirk Newell has been riding for decades. He even owns this bike shop in Ramona. He tries to protect himself as best he can every day when he rides this route. Normally ride as far as you can to the right as practical and keep a straight line so you're not surprising so you're not surprising the cars but that only protects you so much with cars speeding by on your right side the cars almost always go around you so you just take your chances unfortunately he's had his own experience right here on the same highway i got hit by a motorcycle last year while he may know almost every cyclist in ramona he doesn't know who got hit early this morning He's just hoping she recovers. Well, I hope they find him. CHP is still searching for the driver of what they say was a black Ford Escape with California license plates 8KPJ239. Reporting in Ramona, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.